This thing is, like, not getting in the ball. Get in the ball. It's level 12, man. What is the catch rate on this thing? It's not that high. One. This is getting silly. I hate myself, 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 I hate myself. And then Saibi. For the knockout. A clean and easy end. You're alive! We're just leveling up all of our guys to level 20. We just leveled up all of our guys to level 20. And now we're going to heal at the Pokemon Center. So here's the strategy, because here's the thing that I've noticed, is the Watch Hog that's out there heavily favors Hypnosis, and it's very annoying. Um, and so, he doesn't have Synchronize, which is kind of annoying, but he's going to be the lead going into the Herdier that has Intimidate to get Yawn and Lucky Chance set up with like a Moonlight or two, um, and kind of just hope for the best. Um, giving it an orange berry because it's not going up against something that's going to put it to sleep. Um, because this has unburden, and it's possible that, like, I mean, a crit will probably just kill this thing one hit from Watch Hog or whatever. Um, and so, assuming it survives, like, if it gets put to sleep and uses the berry, I guess that would probably be better than orange berry. Right. Actually, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this the other berry that I was. Yeah, true. <laughs> Let me give this. So I'm gonna. Here's the thought process, right? Here's the thought process that I'm using. I'm gonna give it a Chesto berry, because the thing. Roar of time, Jigglypuff. <laughs> um. <laughs> God, that'd be chaos. Um. The thought process is, Watch Hog likes to click, at least in the past, like I'll switch around and it'll put my Pokemon to sleep, put my Pokemon to sleep, like use a move, put it to sleep, use a move, put it to sleep, or just hypnosis everything. And so if it uses hypnosis, Chestoberry, then it gets unburdened, he can speed, and then he can just try and go as ham as possible. Um, that would be cool. So that's the thought process by giving him Chesto. Uh, giving him Orin is pizza is the first to be in line to be sacrificed, most likely, Purloin being the second. Um, Brownie is definitely one we need to save. Ooh, also, big. Metal Claw. Scratching what's that? Um, giving him Chesto Berry so that he doesn't fall asleep and can get a dig off. Again, dead by crit, no matter what, so like, whatever. Yeah, he is unfathomably annoying, and so... He, he's just gonna have charcoals, just in case he needs to do more damage. Gets blazed down and, you know, can just max it out. Chestoberry for... Caviar to help. Chestoberry for Brownie to help. And... Chestoberry for Fancy Feast to hopefully help by getting an outspeed. But they're all level 20. I think we're basically ready to go as much as we could be. Okay, we're ready. All right, let's get it. Here we go. Ooh, a tournament winner viewer, let's go. Okay, so the Intimidate down here doesn't matter, obviously, because we are a special attacker. Okay, so we're gonna start. First things first, Yawn. Leer, spooky. We're gonna Lucky Chant. And then, see how we do. We might switch out at that point. Nice, good avoid. Oh, good avoid, good avoid, good avoid, good avoid, good avoid. We use Lucky Chant, now we Psy Beam, because now we can't be crit. Now we just gotta hope for the best. We gotta remember, she's got a Super Potion in the back. Okay, so she's going to probably hit here. Ooh, stays asleep. 
So it's gonna use Super Potion, so it's gonna stay asleep another turn. Super Potion turn. Okay. It's either gonna wake up or stay asleep. It used Super Potion. I'm definitely thinking of yawning here just to, like, stay good. We still can't be crit, so we're still in Lucky Chant zone. I'm thinking just getting a yawn out is probably good. Based on the emojis you're spamming in the chat, I'm thinking that you're agreeing with me. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. I think we're probably going to yawn. I think that's probably the play. Come on. Okay, stay to sleep, that's fine. No advantage, disadvantage. And see now the lucky chain wears off. This is this is the this is the scary part now. So now. So here's the thing. Here's what I th here's here's what I think. If it stays asleep and I lucky champ. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, listen, listen. I've gotten a defense drop. I am available to get crit. If I get crit, I'm probably toast. No matter what, right? And it's just going to hit me. If I lucky chant, then at the very least, if I switch into the next guy, they can't be crit if I survive. Don't use lucky, trust me. Hmm, do I trust you? We'll try, we'll try. Let's do Yon. If I die, I'm going to be so triggered. Oh, I didn't die. <laughs> Good stuff. He could miss. I did forget that there's 80, 85% chance. Okay. Good call. Good call. Good call. So now I switch. Unfortunately, we can't use Jelly Bean anymore, but that's fine. So now Pizza comes in. We just hope for no crit. And then we crunch it to death. And then we should be able to detect. So the reason I also want to switch him in, for the record, is one, because I'm... If he gets crit, then I don't fucking care. Um, and thing two. Perfect. So that did 30. Okay, so we're perfectly out of range from not a crit, but it falls asleep. And now, if we... One, good kill. Spooky. Crunch. Of course. No, no crit. It was a range. Well, we sacrificed. And Heritier took itself down. Uh oh. Hmm, this is what I hate to see, because now it's a retaliate and my detect user is gonzo. <laughs> so I have to be willing to sacrifice whoever comes in next, which I said it was gonna be Fancy Feast, so. Fancy Feast. You're up. I'm not going to use the hurt one. Because <laughs> then it definitely retaliate. So here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thought. I think, well, I guess either way he's he's dead, so. Or Mana might be dead, but I would like Mana to survive. I'm not sacrificing Mana if I don't have to. Okay, so let's see what's the plan. I don't think... Do I sand? I mean, I guess if I'm going to die, I'll probably just sand. Okay, now we wake up, we use our berry, and then we should outspeed. Nice, look at that, okay. I think... Do we sand one more time? So retaliate can't... isn't double boosted now. I'm wondering if we sand... what do you think? Sand one more time or pursuit? One more time. For a miss, hope for a miss, hope for a miss. Didn't get it. Don't kill. And a crit. Well, fancy feast. You're king. Okay, now I think we go caviar. The reason that we go caviar is because now we can get speed. Nope, hold on, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen. I need to lower its speed. If I lower its speed, then I can potentially bring in mana and it can yawn down. Okay? That's what we're doing. I'm okay with sacrificing caviar, so we can do that. Hold on. Mud shot. Ready? Connect. 
Okay, don't kill. Nice. Okay, now we lower speed. Okay. Hope for a miss. Hope for a miss. Hope for a miss. Ooh. Oh, we, we got speed to get one more. Hope for a miss. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Keep, keep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. One more. Keep low on speed. Okay, now basically everything on my team should out speed. Okay, perfect. Keep mud shotting. Oh, okay, now we bubble beam. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Got it. Ooh, easy, easy. Easy, 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 easy. <sighs> you know what? I think one of the most amazing parts about that is uh, if our, sur or our purloin probably could have survived if it hadn't been crit. But we salute our fallen brethren. And I'll have to search through the big vert in order to figure it out. Okay, so first things first. Name Valhalla. Hey, man. Oops. Okay. Salute to the Patrat. We knew we were going to sacrifice you, but it's okay. You did your job. And sacrifice or salute to the fancy feast. You didn't need to die, but circumstances were what they were. Rip. Rips F's in the chat. Okay, we got 10 minutes of this. Or not even, probably a little bit less because I gotta go heat up my dinner. I'm going to bubble beam you to death. Oh! Hold on. I forgot to update the level caps. 23. Okay. Beep! Bum -ba -bum. Team Star was as threatening as Team Yell. Yeah. They were... The past two enemy teams have been genuinely depressing. And they're... I need big... I need... Where are the big evils? I need the big evils back. Like, they should be bad. Not just like, I was bullied! I really like this. I'm a fa I'm a huge fan of this. <laughs> uh, Team Yell is Swifties, um, and uh, Team Star is just like bullied in high school or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need. We definitely need some genuine villainy back back in the game. Thing in here? Yep, time mushroom. They will take on the patch rat. If I want to see if it uses by this defense curl real quick. Perfect. <laughs> Feel like we can just bait that a little bit. 
give ourselves a little boosty boost. Ooh, that's tackle, not leer. Give ourselves another little boost. And then it will go first. Unleash its power. And then we can burn charge. Too much is actually. Oh, perfect. And then the speed increase should get it gone. Maybe not, apparently. <laughs> Got him. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, I think I am going to lead with Baconator. We got good switch ins, and worst comes to worst, we can do the same bide. The same biding our time. Assuming it doesn't, uh. Sand attacks. Even if it does, I'm not super worried about Sand attack. Oh, and I outspeed. That's good to know. Or we're tied. Okay. Right, flame charge. Oh, nice. One hit. Did not expect that. From a modest... Well, I mean, it is six level advantage, but still. <laughs> okay. Now we get... Okay, it does have bite, so we are gonna switch to bite and attack. Okay, it will trap whatever we have in, but it is super weak defensively. So I'm just going to use brownie because I don't want to get stuck in a paralyze trap. Oh, cool! How lovely. I think we outspeed. Vandals can be- oh, I guess we're sick again. Six levels higher. Well, cool. Now we're trapped. Too bad this thing doesn't, uh... Yeah, it only is three. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, these things are pretty fast, but it's, again, I keep forgetting six levels higher. I just, like, assume everything's basically at the same level that I am. Effectively. Okay, we are going to learn Rollout this time. And its attack is high enough where we can just forget Ember and we're just going to keep Flame Charge. And so we're going to get rid of this, even though we're modest, because our attack is just better. Okay. I'm going to try Metal Flying it. Okay. Now we're double sand attacked down. And I guess I'll just scratch. Annoying. Cool. Okay, so that's nine ish. Uh, modest is minus attack plus special attack. <laughs> Which is the worst nature for Tepig. <laughs> Which is great. And I also have an adamant uh tab bulb. Tab bulb is the new one. What's the what's this? Temple. I have an adamant temple. No evolving for you. An adamant temple, which is a special attacker. Uh, which gets my or plus attack minus special attack, and I have a modest Tepig, which is a good attacker that has minus attack. So, Ooh. there's a thing that I think it is the peace sign. I don't remember what their thing is. Yeah, balloons. That's look at the party that we're having for ourselves. The natures so far have been pretty meh. I think the natures that I had on the Pokemon that have fainted have been actually fairly decent. But they were on inherently weak dudes, so... Yeah. 
basically how this is going this whole time. 